Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V! As you can see, I've decided to go with Bianca long term as my wife for the remainder of the game. We're back at Lodestone Harbor here because well, Mr. Briscoletti said we could take his ship to explore the world! So, let's go do that. Now, about why I chose the wife that I ended up taking with me, uh, there's basically three reasons why I did that. Uh, the first reason is the plot. The plot progresses in general in the same way, no matter which wife you choose, but it's just a matter of how they contribute to the plot, really. Um, like Deborah, for example, you've basically seen her shtick. She basically makes disparaging remarks at you throughout the game, blah, blah, blah. In my opinion, that gets old really fast. It was funny for a little while, but it basically never changes until the very end of the game. Nera... Her wedding is exactly the same as Deborah's, which is why I didn't show that, except minus the humor. And Nera is basically like, oh, I hope I can be a good wife to you, blah, blah, blah. Nothing really interesting to that. Here's where the uh, Venturo, or Ventuno, whatever you call it, uh, is that. So let's go check out the casino while we're here. But as for the plot, oh, there's one more thing. Mini Metal number 16. But yeah, as long as you don't mind Bianca constantly talking about the uh, the ghost hunting you did at the beginning of the game, uh, I really like how she contributes to the plot. She really wants to help you out, and I just feel a much stronger connection to her than I do to the other two ladies. Uh, the second reason why I like Bianca better is level grinding. She starts at level 18, whereas the other two start at level 10. And that'll save you about an hour of grinding later on in the game, so I really like that. Uh, the third reason is the function in battle. Uh, Deborah, as you saw, she has that weapon that lets you hit twice per round. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the strength to back it up, and it's uh, very, very difficult to farm metal monsters in this game, unlike the last game, so it's really hard to take advantage of that. And she doesn't get very many of the endgame spells either, so I don't like that. Nera could be better than Bianca. She does learn mid-heal and kaboom, which Bianca does not, but Bianca learns all the spells that I really care about, like Kassizzle and mainly Kafrizzle. And there's mini metal number 17. So, and B Nera gets a little more MP than Bianca does, but Bianca gets the whip, so she gets pretty much the best of both worlds, in my opinion. So, I like her better than Nera and Deborah in that respect. So, that's pretty much why I'm going with Bianca. Let's, uh, try out this new TNT board. Hopefully you've got some TNT tickets and boomerang I've already given to Abel for this part here. So let's do it! Oh yeah, there's, uh, yeah, you don't want to examine the ground on these spots because you might run into monsters. So I'm just going to try and skip them if I can. Oh yeah, there was one other thing. There is, like, one drawback to not choosing one of Briscoletti's daughters, and that is that throughout the game, if you've married one of his daughters, you'll get, he'll send, like, a soldier or someone out to say, Hey, Abel, how's it going? I've got a reward for you for marrying one of Briscoletti's daughters and taking her off his hands. Or something like that. So, you'll get, like, a little bit of money or something, or a piece of equipment or whatever. There is one piece of equipment that you can get that is pretty darn good. But, uh, the problem... It, well, not the problem. I mean, it's good, but you'll find the exact same piece of armor later on in the dungeon, same dungeon, anyway. So it's like, it's not really that big of a benefit. So that's pretty much why I'm going with uh, Bianca long term there. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, is it absolutely critical which one you choose? No, not really. As long as you don't choose Deborah, Because she doesn't learn Kafrizzle, which is really, really good late game. Hey, hey! Alright, we get a magic shield. Nice. I could equip that, but I'm gonna save it for later. 
All right, there we go. That was easy enough. Only took me three tries. I cut out the other two failed attempts, obviously. But anyway, as long as we're here, we can get a Lacey Bustier. And a prayer ring. All right, yeah, they do exactly what you think they do. So... Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's equip the uh, sword again. Well, I didn't get in, into any battles this time, but well, you never know, just in case. Could be worse. All right, well, I think that's all the treasure we can get here. If you want to talk to people, you can, but they're just talking about how great the casino is or their gambling addiction or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, nothing especially interesting here. So let's just move on. Just a nice little side area here. Certainly more entertaining than the uh, the Invincible in Panel Cross, or whatever the casino version was called. I forget which ship is which. Eh, whatever. Oh yeah, the Zalbus. That was it. I can't believe I remembered that after all these years. It's been too long since I played that game. Oh well. But there's a few places that uh, Mr. Briscoletti had told us where we could explore, so let's head on south. Well, let's see, we got... Let's see, let's take out the crossbones. Oh yeah, and rearrange my party. I forgot Bianca. Put in the second slot there. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's just take out the crossbones first. And Cussap, the Thaumatosaurus there. Uh, what is this, Radiant Historia? No. No, they don't have Thaumatech in this game. But yeah, now we should be able to take them out relatively easily. They do have quite a bit of HP, so they might take a little while to kill. That's one reason why I really like Bianca, because she has access to the whip. So she has, I would say, arguably the best physical attacks of the three wives, despite uh, Deborah really being the melee fighter of the three. I think that sign just directs you... Well, over here. So, whatever. Let's see what this place is all about. Knick-knack paddywhack? Another pun, apparently. Oh, I guess he's unsent. The knick I have been collecting a lot of uh, knickknacks over the course of the game, well, this is where you can put them to use. Not that it's extremely useful, but, well, it's there. Got quite a few knickknacks for you, pal. Oh, really? Hmm, King Dominicus's Dominion. I haven't seen that, but we can look around. Yeah, you can't get in there yet, so you have to, uh, find a specific knick-knack for you to actually get in the place, so let's go looking for it. I'll just direct you exactly where you have to go. See, this seems like a good spot. Ah, there it is. Nuts. Well, ooh, a metal slime. That'll be nice to help out. I was about to say to bring Bianca up to speed, but her levels are higher than mine. That is sad. Ow. Well, let's uh, just go all out for now. Try to take out one of them. And then I'll have the uh, Rotten Apple use Sap. There we go. Fortunately, they don't use whatever that spell was from the last game that they used. Kazing! No, just the ordinary thing. Uh, ah, I can't remember the spell they used in the last game. Well, that's to that. That's a slime on the roof there? Look at the top screen in the upper right there. Huh. Maybe he's just confused. Well, another iron mask. Awesome. Let's go give that to my slime knights there. This is why I haven't been upgrading my equipment throughout the game, because we just find stuff eventually. And the drag you could use the Iron Helmet. Why not? There will be times when I will bring him in. Do not throw him away. Keep him around. 
But anyway. Yeah, hidden treasure! What do you mean? Hmm. Oh, okay, we better ask her. Yeah, this is the place where you can trade in your mini metals for equipment just like the last game, but, well, it works a little different, actually. But, uh, well, we'll get to that soon enough, viewers. In any case, we don't have enough mini metals to get what I want anyway. So, I'll go over this in more detail later. Right now, today is the Nignacatory Day. Oh. Oh, nuts. Yeah, so in order to get this item, you have to talk to those three people, and here it is. The Maxi Metal. Another knick-knack. That's the item that, you know, knick-knack Paddywhack was looking for. I don't even know what that song is, viewers. I just heard it somewhere, I don't know. You gotta do that heavy lifting. No pain, no gain. So yeah, this is King Dominicus, King Dominicus's Dominion, and this is the Nicknackatory. That's the name of the place. So, yep, got it for you. Maxi metal, and found it where the, you exchange some mini metals. How ironic! All right, there we go. What do we do with all our knickknacks here? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V! This is HG Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!